Guys, if you are interested in having this car port, I'll leave the link in my description below. So just visit our seller page and you see some other nice things you can download. Hey guys, let me show you how I was able to create this gable end. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to delete this roof and create this effect again. And let's get started guys. Okay, now I have deleted the roof. So I'm going to create this roof again and show you how I was able to create the gable end. Now this is the facial concrete outline of the roof. We are just going to click our roof and then make sure this is activated. And this one is activated as a complex roof because it has different shapes, okay? It's not just rectangle. So I'm going to go to the angle. The angle is okay, which is 40, which was what I used before. I'm going to start tracing from one point, like so. You can hold on your shift if your lines are not getting straight or if you're not seeing the lines, those track lines that help you to get the straight lines. You can just hold on your shift and it will snap, okay? Just hold down your shift like so, trying to get the straight line so it will snap, like so it won't bend. Hold down your shift, hold down your shift, and then close it there. And then this is where we want to create our gable, and then this point too. So what I'm going to do is I want to take a measurement distance from here to here where the gable end will start. So I'm going to take a line like so, let's say one on 550, okay? Uh, let's say one, one five is okay. All right. So I'm going to now take this line from here to here and then extend it here like so. The same way I'm going to put it at the same position for this. Okay. So the next thing we do, let's see our roof. Okay, the roof is sitting on a concrete fascia. So the next thing we do we um split this roof you can't edit this roof like this you have to split it just select it and right click okay and then you say split into simple plain roof that way we can edit so when you do this you can't go back again okay you can see you can't go back again so now haven't split it it will still be like this that means it has changed to one entity to a group of plain roof Okay, it has been grouped, a group of plain roofs, you can see. So this is grouped now. And if we want to edit it, you just suspend the group here. Okay, so that we can always pick one plane and edit. So we are going to edit this face right now. I'm going to create a node, just click face here and insert node. Then you put it at this point, at this point where this line intersects. And the same way, you put it at this point, create a node, put it at this point where this line intersects, and then you drag this one here, down here, and then you drag this one down here. Okay, we do the same thing here. So let's see our 3D, what we have. You can see the gable end right there. So the next thing we'll do, we'll also shift this one. Try to pick this plane and shift it here also. Create a node like so and just drag this one down here. Okay, same thing we do for this one. Make sure you try to select the plane. If you can't select it, just hold down, tap your tab, okay? to take you to the next um, element. Create a node, and then take this node here, down here. Then we have a roof like this. So the next thing we do is we try to create that concrete um, fascia on this angle here, okay? Now, I have the profile already, okay, done already. In case you don't know how to do the profile, let me show you how to quickly do create a profile, just go here, option, okay? Complex profile, profile manager. So you you click new, write the name you want to do. 
let's say um, Gable, Gable and Gable and Profile. Okay, so this is where you can create profile that's opened. Just use your field tool and just create profile that you want. Let's use 400 by 400. Okay, and just create something like this. So this is just a simple profile, you can see. All right, maybe you can even change it, change something, do something like this. Okay, and let me see. Okay, this is two. I'm almost, you can see almost close to, they are always close to 100. So I have like the eye measurement of what I want. So I just change this to white. And I'm going to activate this. I want to use beam for it. So I'm going to activate beam. So I'm going to say save. Okay. The, the tools used for this particular stuff that I want to do now is beam because of how beam operates. So I've already clicked save and they're just going to close. And then I'm just going to take a beam like so and change this to complex, okay? Complex profile so that we can assess the complex profile we just created. Uh, what we saved it as was, I think Gable something. So we saved it as Gable and profile. From this center here, I'm going to draw one. Okay, I'm going to select it and say, select in 3D, okay? Control shift, you can do that. Select in 3D. Let's bring it up, it's yellow. Not supposed to be yellow. You can see it. Let's bring it up. Change this to yellow, change the yellow or just and check all this okay it is showing from the back so we are going to mirror it and take it to this point again and showing for the, the front and now what i want to do is as you can see this is where, I think this is where the main node is, where we can easily just adjust. So I'm going to go back to the complex profile edit. So I'm just going to edit the profile. Now, at this point here, so I'm going to take this right now and bring it to this point, because this is the point I want to drag. And then I'll save it. Okay, as you can see. So let's position it very well. Okay, good. So this one here, this point here, I'm going to drag this. I think this is modify angle. Okay. And drag down. So you can see we have 40 on our info. Okay. So you just say, okay, you just click there. That's fine. So we can easily maybe adjust to this point, okay? Now the next thing we'll do, we are going to mirror this like so. More a copy, control M, control or control shift M. I think our gable is not big enough, but that's that's fine. So we are just going to bring it down a little below, below the roof. Now the next thing we do is that we're going to place our wall in that space right there. So take your wall, Go to the settings and see your settings. Let's leave it at this and then just change it to white. Okay. Mm. Change it to white. Okay. So, and this. I'm going to select this in 3D again. So, we can, okay. It's, it's, it's nice here. Just drag this up a little bit. As you can see, our gable is not that big because we still have to close. I still have to take this inside. 
like I still have to take it to this wall. You can see that the gable is not big enough. So we are going to shift it forward. The gable is not big enough. Doesn't, it's not, um, it's not functional like this. We're going to shift it down here. Okay, we're going to shift it down here. And then of course, we're going to change this change this, drag this down here, like so. Okay, so it's showing now, because the essence of this gable is to put a hole here for vent, okay? So I'm going to still do, drag it down a little, copy this and push it a little further here. Good. So this goes down like so. So we're going to put just put a little um we're going to put a little vent here. So this wall and instead of using wall, we can use wall and just create a hole and fix a vent there, or we can use the entire stuff as a vent. So it depends on what we want. So I think for this purpose, since this is small. I'm going to use a vent for the entire stuff. So before that, let me adjust this. I think this ends. Okay, this ends here. So I'm just going to adjust it to this point. The same thing, just adjust it to this point. So you can see. So this delete this, okay? Just have to put a vent in it and take that, that roof back to where we want it to be at this point here. So there might be a need for us to adjust, push this out. You know, you cut it a little bit here, cut it a little bit here so that when we put our card image, it doesn't affect it. So I'm just going to create a node here Create a node here. So that said, we're going to put our Luva here. Let's go to our objects. Come here. Let's type Luvas. Think Luva. Okay, okay, see, we have one here. Let's see what it looks like, this is it. Change the color to white. And then just place it down here, like so. Place it. That's the, place it here. Drag, like so. Okay. Select in 3D. Take it up. You can see the essence of using the louver going, showing it uh, facing up. The angle is facing you. are supposed to go down. Oh, okay. You know what? This is this is where it falls. So I'm just going to mirror it. Okay, I'm just going to mirror it like this. Good. So this is. I think this is this is how we should have placed it. Let me, okay, so you can see when the water splashes is falls and air, hot air, when the sun it can come out from that space. So this is the essence of gable end. Now we can now trim to roof. Let's see if this will trim, trim to roof. It's not trimming. So I'm going to just select this and select the roof I want to use because I think it is touching this one. So I'm going to just select the roof I want to use and select the object itself. And then we say trim. So roof, okay. 
So you can see that it has changed to the, uh, the roof we want to use. You can see. So I'm just going to select this and, and place and copy. Go to plan, select a floor, floor plan, like so. So I'm going to take this down here. Okay. And I'm going to drag this down here. Things. Yeah. Yeah, so that's where we should, that should be. So I'm going to drag this one to, I think, drag this one also. Right? For this, okay, this is extending. Drag this one out to this point. So there will be a need for us to do that same thing we did so that when we want to place i can just shift this one here okay place a node and shift this one here now you can see that it's not showing because it's not at the same height so i'm just going to select this in 3d and drag this up. So we can also easily just pick all this and create the same thing around your roof where you want it to be. So this is basically how to create gable end on your roof and you can easily just add your card image to it. Roof covering. The roof I the roof setting I used is already there, so I'll just say okay. All right, looking good, looking very very nice. You can see. So this is basically how to get your gable end done. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next one. Bye bye.